Good morning. So, I know this looks like a really odd combination, but Dublin Air cheese, if you take a bite of carrot, a bite of cheese, and a bite of bacon all together, it's like really delicious. And I just randomly threw this together and I just thought I'd share it with you guys because it actually turned out really good. So, give it a try if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. That woke me up. <laughs> getting ready to water the plants. Oh, it's so gorgeous today. Look at the beautiful sky. <laughs> this is my jalapeno plant. Growing a cute little guy. Nice. And here's the tomato plant. And here's peppermint. I love peppermint. Oh. Rosemary. Pepper, how's Pepper doing? Cute, doing good. Little curly Q on the end, how adorable. Alrighty. Fabulous. Done and done. Little hammock that we set up the other day. I love swinging in this hammock, it's so nice. So I wanted to talk about well water because I love it and one thing that I did not know well I was aware that a lot of the sulfur in the earth had been stripped and wasn't really there so a lot of the fruits and vegetables that you buy in the store don't contain the, the levels of sulfur that they're supposed to to get the the amount for your body that is good for humans so when I moved here I can literally smell and taste the sulfur in the water because it's from a well. And I'm just, I'm amazed. I, I accidentally ordered sulfur and I feel like I don't need to because I'm getting so much from the natural water that it is just like such a blessing to have access to a part of the, part of the earth where there is still natural sulfur there. So I definitely feel really blessed and a lot more connected to the earth because I'm able to taste the earth and smell it and just be a part of that in a whole different way. So if you don't have access to well water, get on Amazon.com and find yourself Seven Lights Sulfur. They have a little bit of a rainbow on their logo. Really good brand. I trust them a lot. And um, it doesn't taste very great. So if you want, you can take a scoop of it and put it in like lukewarm water to get it to dissolve or hot water to get it to dissolve then once it's completely dissolved you just want to mix it in with some juice that will help with the taste and then you won't taste as much of the sulfurness to it but in the water it's really not it's really not that bad I love it I'm just grateful that it's coming from the earth and that I don't have to buy it all the time obviously I'm still gonna take the one that I order off Amazon because it's a good concentrated version and you could even mix it in with water put it in a spray bottle spray it on your plants to reintroduce re it to your vegetables and fruits so if you don't already have sulfur in your diet check it out and thanks for watching look at how precious oh my goodness here's this little cutie look at how precious you are hi hello country bumpkin you're so cute you guys look at this Oh, this is what 
Oh my gosh, this is what I want to do. It's all the little chick. They're so soft. Oh, so handsome little guys. Precious. Oh, they just walked on him. Oh my gosh, look at these cute bunny rabbits. Oh, they're so cute. Hi, you. Hello, you're a big one. Come here, give me some love. Oh, you're precious. <laughs> Swinging in the hammock. Wee. So yesterday we went down to Grandpa's quarry, and we I was walking and I seen a bunch of cotton on the ground, and there are trees called cottonwoods that grow cotton naturally, and I collected a bag of it. I just thought it was the neatest thing and I don't know what I'm gonna use it for yet but basically it's like natural cotton so it's not genetically modified it's not bleached and it's probably a lot safer than a lot of the cotton that's sold over at like Walmart or um, got some Walmart face. Target or wherever but um, I know that the Indians had a lot of uses for this back in the day so I'm thinking about looking some of them up and seeing what I can use it for for myself. So I just thought I'd share that with y'all because I thought it was really neat. Have a lovely day. All right, tonight I made something very interesting and different for dinner. It's uh, lettuce with a little bit of pesto and then some bacon inside. So a different twist and I just thought I'd share that with everyone because it's gonna be delicious.